Hey, it's Rybar here at Tuned In Live. Today we're taking a look at this Aston Origin microphone. Uh, we need something in the studio that will give us a real focused sound so that we're not relying on a crappy DI sound. So we're going to check this thing out and see if it works for us. Hey guys, it's Ryan Fowler here. You just heard Rybar play some acoustic through our little mic shootout that we had between our Aston Origin and our Earthworks SR25. Obviously, we've got a small condenser versus a large diaphragm condenser, um, but we were really pleasantly surprised with what we got out of a microphone that was considerably cheaper than our Earthworks. Um, what we're trying to do is kind of eliminate a lot of that room noise that we would get when we had uh, our Earthworks mic up. Um, but what we, what we found was it was a very focused sound, not a lot of noise coming from the rest of the room, and it also kind of accurately depicted the low end of that acoustic guitar, so we were really excited about hearing that. And also just this price point is, is kind of hard to ignore um, considering the differences. There's also a couple other features here that, that kind of are swaying us. Um, obviously the sound is going to be, since we're doing live streaming, it's going to be not nearly as imperative to have that perfect replication because as soon as we're streaming, everything's going to be compressed and everything as well. We really just want to have the best of both worlds and just kind of mix the two of what sounds good on a stream and what sounds uh, most representative of that instrument that we're, we're trying to record. Um, it's got some cool features that I wanted to show you though. Um, this grill is something I've never seen before and it actually, these plates kind of move in and out. So if you've ever played a, a cheaper condenser, if that, if that mic falls, it's going to absolutely just dig into that grill. So we don't have to worry about that. This is solid as a rock. I think there's a video of a guy hitting it with a metal pole and then picking it back up and, and recording with it. The other thing is that you don't actually have to use the shock mount. There's, a, uh, there's actually a place for you to put that mic stand right there and, and go ahead and have it on the stand as is. And I believe there's actually an internal shock mount for the transducer inside the microphone. So you don't have to worry about using one if you don't want to. Um, but the actual shock mount's pretty, pretty cool. It's, it's a proprietary shock mount um, and just makes everything a little bit more secure. I love the fact that it's not rope that's just gonna like pop out like you would with like some of the Neumanns. Um, overall, just like everything feels like a quality built product. And uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and give it a, give it a go on our next acoustic show and, and see how it does there. But thanks for tuning in and checking it out. Hopefully you might be able to utilize this microphone for something that you guys do. Cheers. Mm -hmm.